Hi guys, we're going to our part 5 on how to use client review. You go to www.kingmosa.co.za forward slash a double pps hit enter then you put in your username then the password then say sign in yes we saw the uh, part so now uh, we we're going to look at how to deactivate a child so you instead of what uh, deleting the kid from the from the system you deactivate a child in case that child comes back so we're gonna be having his information so what you do you just click on deactivate a child we have all these members one two three four five these are five kids so we want this child to be deactivated let's go back here you can see it shows the system shows we have five kids so what we do we go to deactivate a child so let's say this child is is gone Lungis Villagas is gone is no more with us so what we do we click deactivate it's gonna ask you are you sure you want to deactivate you say yes when you click the button is gonna disappear after you go home then you can see that there are only four kids so that child is not even going to appear in those people who owes because it's deactivated no activity is gonna be going on in his profile so once you're done there you can click on view students you can see only we have only four people mlungis is no more here so you go back here home so you click on deactivate kids you can see we have only five four four kids so in case you the child comes back at school and uh, he wants to re register what you do you go to activate student you click there and you can see mlungis is uh, one of the deactivated what kids so they said he came back uh, he wants to join the school again so what you do you activate it to ask you do you want to activate this child to say yes so after you go home you can see now we have five kids and uh, if you go to deactivate kids there's no one there so if you go back and say deactivate kids we have five kids so guys yeah that's how you deactivate a child so you don't delete because deleting is really uh, you have to delete a child maybe if uh, you inserted that child twice yeah but it, there's no need for you to uh, to deactivate a child Ga to delete a child in case a child come and s study at your school so after when he leaves you think you're going to throw the files away no you don't you keep those files for future use so guys this is the end of our tutorial part five and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, also look on homepage here and navigate and see all what this means so you can see this this it tells you how many people we have in grade R and how many people we have here and how many people we have here so what we can do quickly we can um, we can we can see on a number of people we have in each and every category of this or each and every grade so these are not these were sample grades so but i can delete them and put new ones anyway yeah guys that's the end of our tutorial please uh, don't forget to subscribe and if you want to ask anything you can comment in the what in the comment box below on our youtube channel then we're gonna make a video on uh, what you are requesting us to do for you Thanks for watching guys, we're gonna see you in part 6.